A piano has 88 keys, but imagine you only used 44 of them. Well, if you are an English learner, you're probably doing that with English. Let's find out though. We're going to take a sound and send it down five times. Da, 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 da. Let's see if you can take that back up. Da, 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 da. Let's see if you can take that higher. Da, 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 da. And down five times. Da, 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 da. Let's see if you can do that entire chain. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Let's see if we can now join all of that together. Da, How was that? Did you find it easier to go up or to go down? Let me know in the comments. What we're trying to do is expand the range of pitches that you're using. American English wants to use as much of that range as we can. You can see this, for instance, in exclamations. Try to copy what I do. Wow. Notice we went really high and then ended really low. Wow. How about this? That's great. That's great. No way. No way. Now, there's no way we can cover every single pitch pattern that English will use. We can at least try to go over some common patterns with pitches. Let's try with starting a low pitch and then finishing with a higher pitch. Do you have the keys? Notice there, have the keys. Do you live here? Do you live here? How's the movie? How was the movie? Let's try now doing the opposite where we start at a higher pitch and finish at a lower pitch. I couldn't go. I couldn't go. Sleep wasn't the issue. Sleep wasn't the issue. Let's now try a three pitch range. We'll start at a midpoint, go down, and then finish higher. You don't know? You don't know? There's a leak? There's a leak? Let's now try the opposite of that, where we start low, go high, and then go down. I ate it. I ate it. The girls laughed. The girls laughed. Let's now practice a common pattern used in questions, especially if it's curious or you're trying to make it sound friendly. What you'll see is that it's going to start with a high pitch, then go down, and then finish somewhere a little higher. Could you help me out? Could you help me out? Do you know where this is? Do you know where this is? Have you ever heard of this? Have you ever heard of this? To get better practice at using the right pitch and the right stress with these multi-syllable words, take a look at our next video.